Then I turn 23 and all of a sudden, I'm the best swimmer in the women's division. And I can't track exactly what changed. I guess I'm just a late bloomer. So I have a perspective and, and I realize if I share my perspective through the language of humor, it gives me tremendous creative satisfaction and fulfillment and it's a way to reach people to help, hopefully help them wake up to, from whatever fog they're in, to better follow their own hearts and their own critical thinking. I'm at the Bitcoin 2022 conference and I just bumped into JP Sears and I got to ask him a few questions about Bitcoin censorship and what the future of Bitcoin holds. If you like this interview, check out bitcoinreports.ca where you could learn more about Bitcoin 2022 conference and you can make a donation. So what brings you here today? Yeah, I had the opportunity to MC at the Bitcoin conference here and do a few other uh, contributions, speaking opportunities. But really what brings me here is the ethos of freedom. That's what I care about. That's what Bitcoin and crypto is about. So uh, freedom is what freedom. brings me here. And what got you into making those uh, comedy skits or are they comedy? Yeah, it's a good <laughs> question. Are, there, are they comedy? There's a lot of truth in them, hopefully. I first learned how to swim when I was seven years old at Boy Scout camp. What might surprise you is I was actually a really slow swimmer at first and stayed a really slow swimmer through the first couple years of my collegiate career. Then I turned 23 and all of a sudden I'm the best swimmer in the women's division. So uh, yes, they're comedy, but also not because there's truth. So what got me into it is humor's one of my natural languages it's just part of who I am so I have a perspective and and I realize if I share my perspective through the language of humor it gives me tremendous creative satisfaction and fulfillment and it's a way to reach people to help hopefully help them wake up to from whatever fog they're in to better follow their own hearts and their own critical thinking and, and how has censorship been for you, or how do you see the censorship issue in, in, in general on big tech? Yeah, yeah, I think we need more censorship. <laughs> that would be funny. No, uh, censorship, I mean, to me, it's the opposite of freedom. So I see it. It's affected me a bit. I have to self-censor every YouTube video. I have to know what the hot buttons are, so I say what I have to say without saying the thing directly. I have to speak in metaphors and analogies. So censorship's all over the place. And we know if you study history, what happens when they start censoring. So we can either let it happen or take back our sovereignty and not allow it to happen. So it's all over big tech. And do you think uh, Bitcoin will help prevent censorship so people can get off in alternate platforms? I do think crypto is an answer for censorship because it's relatively speaking it's decentralized so i i love that bitcoin the asset for investment but also bitcoin the network where we creators fans people online we can function in a more centralized way and i know so many companies are all things considered pretty early stage but building apps and companies and platforms on top of bitcoin and crypto to uh, basically make a central or decentralized experience so that censorship isn't something we have to consent to anymore. That's the new paradigm that we're creating right now. Where can people find your stuff or is it only on YouTube? Yeah, my, my stuff, the best place is my website, awakenwithjp.com. That's my hub to my, all my videos and everything I'm doing. Check out the merch I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Go Trucker shirt and think it's the legal shirt. If you like that, this shirt or many others that we have, check out rebelnewsstore.com, rebelnewsstore.com.